Hey yo, what's good, Double Clutch Nation? It's Y Ghost, and we gotta talk about this, man. Victor just dropped 40 and 20 with seven assists, and Jalen Brunson just had his career high 61 points. The Spurs won in overtime against the New York Knicks, which I don't think anybody thought would happen. You expect the Knicks to just go right over the Spurs and go on to the next game. But man, Vic is a problem. If you are a rookie and you're dropping 40 and 20, bro, it's over. This man might as well be the GOAT. And yes, I am overreacting, but we are gonna do this. Victor is insane. Mans can hit threes. He hit four this game. He was taking step backs. He was hitting clutch shots. He was doing it all. He was grabbing offensive rebounds. He had five of them. He was passing the ball. His playmaking gets better as the season goes on. He has seven assists. Two clutch free throws. The clutch gene is there to send this game into overtime, tying the game 121 to 121. Once Vic got the steal on an inbound, with the Knicks trying to do a desperation four point play, which was not going to happen, he got it. The clock buzzer went off and he threw the ball right into the San Antonio Spurs crowd. This kid is basketball. This is what everyone dreamed of. This is what people make their two. 2K player out to be but can't succeed because my career doesn't let you. 40 points and 22 shots. You know who else shot 22 times? Devin Vassell. Devin Vassell had 23. So now let's talk about Jalen Brunson. Jalen Brunson had a career high 61 points with 6 assists. This should have been his night. There's no reason the Spurs should have won this game. Jalen Brunson did shoot 47 times though, which is the second most in a game since Kobe shot 50 in his last career game. Last night we just had DeJounte Murray shoot 44 shots and put up 44 points. Except he got the job done in overtime. Jalen Brunson hit 5 threes did a lot of interior work and worked his ass off when Jalen Brunson gets his shoulder inside your chest he's going up he's a stocky guard who knows how to do the work in the paint he is so crafty with the ball he drives and kicks a lot he knows how to get his players involved and how to go and get a bucket when you need it his touch around the rim is fantastic and this New York Knicks team is dangerous when he's on and the future of the league showed why he is the future of the league I was a big candidate early in the season saying Chet can take it Chet can't take it nobody can take it this man might as well be DPOY I I know Rudy's having a great defensive season as he always does. When I saw this man play before he came in the league, I was like, oh shit. This man is a seven foot five guard. We better hope his brother doesn't get that tall because his brother's playing over in France right now and he could be a problem too. And even if he isn't, we could see a Giannis situation. His brother could be ass and he could be on a team. The league should be scared. The Spurs should be trying to go all out and win in the next couple years because to waste this man's talent. I was about to say prime, to waste this man's talent because he's not in his prime. You better believe that, he's a rookie. He's a goddamn rookie. If this was his prime, everybody would still be sucking his dick. But guess what? He is just getting started. I just, I, I can't believe him, man. He doesn't seem real. He shouldn't be real. 40 and 20 as a rookie. 40 and 20 as anybody is insane. 40 and 20 as a rookie is stupid. And normally you would think, oh, big job, 40 and 20. Let me guess, he played Portland and it was a garbage game. They won by 60, which is what the Heat just did to Portland. School had a negative 58, a negative 58 plus minus. Yeah, and I heard some stupid people before the draft saying, oh yeah, let's pick Scoot over Victor. Everybody's a troll, man, everybody's a troll. These two guys had career nights, and it really sucks for Jalen Brunson because any other night, I think the 61 would've got the job done. But when you're playing the future of the league and he's feeling like that, and he's feeling like that, shit, I guess there's nothing we can do. The Knicks tried, the Knicks tried real damn hard. Trying ain't gonna do it. You're gonna have to hope his knee explodes if you're gonna, if you're gonna get a win like that. I'm seriously scared for the league over the next couple of years when the Spurs touch the court. I'm not surprised if he wins the chip next year. I'm not surprised if he wins the chip in three years i know he can't do it right now because they're not that team this year because they don't have the record if you put him in the playoffs this year i'm not gonna say he can't do it he is scary to me some other notable things from this game dante divincenzo played 49 minutes there's 48 minutes in regulation so shout out tibbs because that's what he does he just he overworks people obviously this knicks team is very hard working we just gotta hope tibbs doesn't let another derrick rose situation happen from what we're playing these guys because when you look down the roster you got divincenzo 49 minutes Josh Hart, 42 minutes. Jalen Brunson, 43 minutes. Miles McBride, 46 minutes. You know, you could say, yeah, this is overtime, but in a couple videos ago, I talked about how Josh Hart played all 48 minutes. It's not just overtime. So hopefully these guys get some rest because they have a bright postseason ahead of them. And this game doesn't hold a lot of weight. I don't think losing to the Spurs is a big deal. And this team will know how to bounce back. But shout out Jalen for 61. And shout out Vic for being an absolute monster, hitting clutch shots, playing good defense, and getting this team a win on someone else's night 40 and 20 is stupid he's a fucking alien and i so excited to see the next couple years that this league has to bring because there's so much talent and we are spoiled getting to witness it this has been your boy y ghost from double clutch nation i hope y'all have a great night i hope y'all like subscribe support your boy 
share this shit if you want to if you made it this far comment an alien emoji do that for me have a good night i wasn't even gonna make a video tonight but when something like this happens i, I don't know what else to do anyways enjoy yourself enjoy basketball bye